know what I'm saying? Because I'm removing the spirit from you. Like he said, these words are spirit. It ain't no, it ain't no, like when we were talking Christianity, man, oh, I caught the ghost and all these words are the spirit. So the moment that you get out of these words, you get out of the spirit. And as soon as you're out of the spirit, here come these demons. You see what I'm saying? So man, you gotta stay close to God, gotta uh, step back. Uh, yeah, step and, and be, and be uh, cautious of the fact that, you know, he read to you something about a one third. So that, so with the one third, and then let me make my point on that. So basically, with the one third, it says that they're gonna, the one third gonna call upon his name. We were getting Daniel 10 and 12, 12, and, 10. 12 and 10. Pull that out real quick. Many shall be purified and made white and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. So those two thirds. That's that's going to get passed through that fire. That, that's going to be cut off and that's going to be cut off and die. Some of them going to be they're going to be Israelites. They're going to be people who walk past this truth. Man, I ain't trying to hear that. They don't have the spirit. They don't have the spirit of the Most High God. So it don't matter. That person if that they, probably threw that flyer on the ground that you got. Right. So that means that they're going to be Hebrew of the Hebrews, man. Uh, let me get uh, Matthew 15, 24. Mm -hmm. So they're going to be they could be Hebrew of the Hebrews. But what the what the what the scriptures say? They're gonna pass. They're gonna die. They're gonna be. They're gonna pass through and die. Only one third is gonna make it. So that's gonna be among the millions. Hey, so but, like yeah, the marriage in Matthew. Yeah. He say time. Get them out of here. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I'm saying. Hand and foot. Bound them hand, bound and, hand foot. and foot. And when they didn't have the right garments on, you know. And we can go back to that uh, Isaiah 52 and one. Put on them beautiful garments. We'll go ahead and pull that real quick. The book of Matthew, chapter 15, verse 24. And he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he ain't sent to nobody else, but to who? The lost sheep of the house of Israel. And you know what? That's the Ind that's the Indians, Inca, the Mayan, the Aztec. You know what I mean? Those that they call the Puerto Ricans, the Chileans, the Panamanians. Okay? That's the same names is on paper. Because because those are the people who the Lord that we were in captivity to the Romans, to the Spaniards. You know what I mean? They had us everywhere. Cause what it say? Uh what you did did you you already get that? Then give me uh uh Genesis Genesis chapter 15, verse 13. And our what was our other our other father? Abraham, he had a 300 trained servants when they came to deliver Lot, just Lot, you know what I mean? You know? You said uh, 15, 13? Yes, sir. The book of Genesis, chapter 15. Because you said we were everywhere. Go verse ahead. 13. And he said unto Abraham, a uh, Abram, sorry. He said unto Abram, Abram, yeah. Now, a surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in the land. So know of a surety that just thy seed like, no. shall be a stranger in the land. That's how we are now. That is not theirs. That is not theirs. And shall serve them. And shall serve them. What do we do in China? Build the Great Wall of China. And they shall be afflict. They shall afflict them four hundred years. And shall afflict them four hundred years. Right. So what happened to us in Egypt? You know what I mean? Well, we basically build up the world. You know, build, we build up build the world. America, everything, right? That's right. We fought in their armies. Yeah. We did all types of wickedness, man. We had, yeah. we had uh, the, the the Dark Ages, thousand years. We ruled. You know what I mean? We wasn't doing what we were supposed to do. You know what I mean? So now, what happened? Living a lifestyle is what you do. Right. So the Most High, He coming back for the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? And no man can come to the Father, lest it be let, no no man can come to Christ, lest it be given him by the Father. You can't come to Christ calling on Christ. Christ is our uh, advocate, man. He's our advocate to where when we sin, we gotta go to Him. And he gonna. Plead with you. You're gonna talk to the father. You can't go to the judge in this system and be like, hey judge, I wanna liken nothing that we do to to their this folly. <laughs> but they got that stuff from us. They got order from us, man. Uh -huh. You know, because what did what did Moses uh uh, uh father-in-law do? He said he said set up judges. You, you, you know, you familiar with that in the Bible? No, no, no. Moses, like yeah, well, Moses uh Jethro, Moses' uh father-in-law, he said, set up you you judges. Because Moses, he was judging everyone. He brought. He said it was too much on him. He, he said, "Man, it's not good, man. You judging all these people. You, you, you handling every situation, small and great." He said, "Nah, man. Set up judges. Any great matters, that's the ones you handle." So they got even the way that they, even the way that we did, we dealt in Israel. 
they got it from us, man. Yeah, it's like everything. The Supreme Court system, all they got like everything. Judges on it, all that stuff. Yeah, they everything. got that stuff from us, man. Yeah. And you know, so again, in these last days, we've been made purified by this word. He's for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said it himself. He, I am not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Not everyone. That's right. Can we go back to uh uh first John chapter one? Uh first John chapter four. Verse uh, five, because you talk, you know, the spirit quickening, the words that I speak are spirit in his life. Somebody else gonna tell you, nah, man, you gotta get this money. Oh, yeah. Nah, man, you gotta, man, all these girls are you gonna get you some money? No, oh, yeah. you gonna be like la a, meaning no. That's Hebrew speech. La a means no. So nah, I ain't doing that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm being made, I'm being made purified. I'm not no nigga. I know who I am. Yeah, I'm an Israelite. That's right. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm an Israelite. You know? Yeah. First John 4 5. Yeah, chapter 4, verse 5. The book of 1 John, chapter 4, verse 5. They are of the world. They are of the world. Therefore speak they of the world. Therefore they speak they of the world. And the world heareth them. See? So the world, this present world that's made for many. The world to come, when Yahweh shall returns, is gonna be made for few. This world hears the wicked, man. They hear those that speak about, hey man, you should do and love whoever you want. You love a dog, marry it. Exactly. YOLO life, man. You only live once. That's the, that's what that's right. That's what the world wants you to uh to to, to raise up. And that's what our that's what the, the most rich of our people, they worship that type of understanding. You know? Generation coming up, mm -hmm. they, 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 come on, man. It's wickedness, man. We are of Yahweh, and he knoweth Salaki, and he that knoweth Yahweh heareth us. He that is not of Yahweh heareth not us. Mm -hmm. Hereby know we the we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So when they stop and hear us, we know, and, and they let us get into what we giving them. And they hear what we saying, they know your Yahweh. So you ain't gonna have no excuse, mind you. When you when you take this understanding and go on your day, that means that, hey, that's when you're gonna know that it's been snatched from you. You know, if you let it go, hey, well, you know, my brother said that that Bible was created by the so-called white man. All those things that kind, Those type of things are gonna come and they, the you devil gonna try it. to snatch it. You gotta shun it immediately. Yeah, exactly. You gotta shun it immediately, man. You know, every other day, man, I'm hit with something like that. You know what I'm saying? And like, I don't even pay it no mind. I'm like, look, I know, I know what I worship. You know what I'm saying? I know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Secondly, the most important thing is, I don't say the most important thing, but the simplest way to really cut that with anybody is like, man, where do you come from? You know? What, what book are you reading that tells you where you come from? What book is telling you why we're getting shot down in the streets? It's the only, only book. That's the only book. It, it, it's the only book. Ain't That's no right. other book. It's a living book. That's how you know this is the truth. Exactly. You know what I mean? If you speak that the Lord c came in the, in the flesh, then how did he come in the flesh looking? Like a so-called black man. Black man having that understanding, that, that, that the right black man having that understanding will turn him from all his folly and madness. That's why in Wisdom of Solomon, if you pull that brother, Wisdom of Solomon chapter uh chapter two. Wisdom of Solomon. That's what I'm saying. You good, brother. You good. Yeah. But while you getting that, I'm gonna give you this. It says, but thou, uh, this is uh Isaiah chapter 41, verse 8. But thou art, but thou Israel art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen. The seed of Abraham, my friend. And why did it why did Abraham why was Abraham a friend to Yahweh? Because he trusted him. He was about to give his own his only. He said, dang, Sonny you gonna have the same Sonny testimony I got. He said, you gonna have the same testimony I got. This same son that was promised to you, you about to give him to me like that? I'm about to do that to my son. I'm about to do that to Yahweh. You know? That's why he said, that's my friend. He says, so the Lord chose us, man. That's why these people deal with us like they do. They call our, our forefather Jacob a uh, uh they call our forefather Jacob a uh, uh what do they call him? They call him a uh a, 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 a trickster, right? Yeah. 
a, a, a trickster. Yeah, he Rick tricked him. Yeah, because we he know how. Because he finessed the game. Because we finessed the game. <laughs> That's how we do. He finessed. He so finessed it, but that it, like some people try to look at it like lives. like it wasn't supposed to happen that way, but it was supposed to happen that way. Even the Lord though he finessed him, the Lord set it up from the beginning because even before she had the baby, he told him he told her how it was gonna go. He ain't say he was gonna be he was gonna finesse him, yeah. but he just said it. This one is gonna be the one that gets it. Jacob yeah. is gonna be the one that gets everything pretty much. Kind. You know, what I'm and, saying? and she still loved him. She still loved Esau. She ain't want to lose both of her sons in one day, is what she said. Yeah. You know what I mean? So she but, loved, loved Jacob. But she loved Jacob because she knew who he was. Exactly. Uh, Isaac, he was just looking at it from a fatherly standpoint. It's my oldest old son, son. Yeah. you know, he hunt. He about to go get me some venison. You you read you heard of the story of Jacob and Esau? When yeah, two two twins was in the womb and one held the him. foot. Bed, yeah, yeah, and he yeah, tricked him. Yeah, yeah. Finessed him. Finessed him. <laughs> That's how we do. You know, we we but it was righteous. You know, that's why the scriptures say, don't judge according. That's why Yahweh said it best. Don't judge according to the appearance. But judge a, judge a righteous judgment. Yahweh set that up, man. Huh. The spirit quickening. You huh. see? That's why you can't lean on, well, you look like an Israelite. You look like a nigga. You look like a Mexican. You look like a Mayan. You look like an Indian. You can't go off that all the time. You got to go off this word. It says you're going to know them by what? You're going to know them by the fruit that they bear. And what's that mean? You're going to say, hey, he going off? I look like my brother, I'm finna teach him. You give him the word, he say, nah, you know, this, that, and the other. And all, he don't receive it, that's enough. You ain't gotta know if he Esau, you ain't gotta know none of that there. Now then you got, you start bringing out the word, the white man, the devil, da, 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 da. And you get a so-called white person walking up to you talking about some man, that's the truth. You know what I mean? And they, and they like, man, I, you know, I believe that this is, you know, I believe that the so-called white man is a devil. And he, go, he gonna be destroyed. Hey, the Lord gonna be the judge you know, of that. It's like a spiritual connection. I think you can feel it, you know? Yeah, but this is based off of justice. That's what it's all about. If you uh, look in uh, Revelations uh, chapter uh, 10, 13 verse 9. 13 verse 9. It says, uh, he, that lead he that lead into captivity must go into captivity. He who killed with the sword must be killed with the sword. What's the sword? Like, What's that? Look at this. What you got? Look at Jake over here. Yo, look at this. Jake with the so-called white woman. Now, if they have a baby, what you think that baby gonna be? He gonna be um, uh, gonna be Jacob. That's right, cause you were listening to the brother about oh, yeah. about the seed, right? Oh, yeah. But at the same time, what did what, why, why did the Most High tell us not to? Do you think? Do you think? That, that he would be willing to accept teach his, yeah, yeah. or teach his son oh, that nah, his nah. mama gonna be that his mama gonna be destroyed. Oh, oh, nah. Now his yeah, son might grow it. up. Cause yeah, you got yeah, uh, gorilla you got aside, yeah. gorilla Hebrew, he have he have. Oh, yeah. and, and his and his little brother is too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? So they have white. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But they know this truth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's the spirit. You get his word? Well, what about Indian? You know, I got I got Indian in my family from like back in the day. Back, back. So you could be gay. Yeah, yeah. You might not even be Judah. Yeah, yeah you might be gay. Now my, my spirit, I, in my spirit, I've been <laughs> Yo, cycling yeah. through. Yeah. Like man, I be calling him, man. I be yeah. venting to him. Yeah. I, no, no, not gay. Oh. I be I be saying I I think I'm 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 I'm, I'm Haitian. I think of my family Haitian. I think now I'm really getting to the point I really believe I'm I'm I'm, I'm Benjamin. You know what I mean? I can be able to see, but it, nevertheless, it what the scriptures say, neither, neither bond nor free, neither Jew nor Greek, because we, guess what? We truly don't know, what, like the yeah. brother brought out, because Jew actually means Judah, Benjamin, or Levi. The rest of them uh, are the Northern Kingdom, right? These were under the, under the Greek captivity when Paul said that thing. They were under the Grecian captivity when Paul said, Neither yeah. Jew nor Greek. And that's how you prove the apocrypha because you don't find the Grecian captivity nowhere else but in the apocrypha. Exactly. You understand the Bible. Yeah, you can only just come to that conclusion yeah. with the new with the New Testament. Exactly. But you but it proves it in oh, yeah. the apocrypha, which is oh, yeah. the stands for the uh, lost books, books. Lost right? Books, yeah. So, with that apocrypha. being so, this if you don't get the sixteen eleven, this is called an apocrypha. It's, it's the separate fourteen books that they took out of the, uh, of the Bible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And like I was just going into saying that's one way of proving the truth of the apocrypha because you see that there was a Greek captivity in the Bible, but it never gives you, you never see it. 
you understand what I'm saying? Like when it says neither Jew or Greek. Mm. But if you read anywhere before then, you don't see them going into a Greek captivity. Oh, yeah. All right, oh, yeah. but in here, it's they in here. It, yeah. It's all through it here. <laughs> so, I heard about um, other like lost stories out the Bible, like the Book of Enoch and stuff. What y'all think about that? Nah, nah, deal with Enoch. See, see, if you're not if you're not speaking on justice, righteousness, Christ coming in the flesh, it's Christ being for His people, His right. people alone, you can go ahead and write that off. What the scriptures say? The word, the, the world heareth us. So our words gonna line up. Our spirit gonna line up. The books that we read out of here, our spirit lines up with this word. That that is the truth. And it line, it, the books line up with the books. That's right. Your spirit mean a lot. As a black man, they don't tell you that. They tell you you don't mean nothing. You fall in line, nigga. Yeah, you know that's what they do. Evil and yeah. Corrupt the world. Right. right. And, and when we need you, we will call you, nigga. Yeah, yeah. To work in to our bank. Serve. To, to work in our hot. It to serve. Yeah, well, I make $80,000, so nigga, nigga. Still a slave, man. You still, still a nigga, yeah, with a coup. Cool. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. One of my favorite songs, man. It, it, oh, yeah. Even, even like, at the end of the day, even if you don't say the so-called white man against you, uh, you still just a man, no oh, matter yeah. how much money you have. Like, look oh, at yeah. Kevin Hart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The Lord could have took that man life. The Lord really just took that chance to try to wake him up. I'm going to say try to wake him up. Oh, yeah. Because he a coon. Too. Oh yeah, big time serious cool. Cool. Yeah, big cool. You know what I'm saying? You so, talking about when he got to that wreck? Yeah, yeah. That wreck is supposed cool. to kill him. Earl oh, yeah. Spence too. You know, Earl Spence too. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. so there's some mighty, there's some uh, what you want to call? I want to say mighty, some, some visible yeah. men. Oh, yeah. That in these last days, the Lord is going to wake. He's already started to wake up a few. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But he's going to start waking up even more. But that just goes to show you your little money. Yo, look at work with part worth two hundred million dollars. His two hundred million dollars ain't mean nothing yeah, when he got to that rent. Yeah, it'd be nothing. gone. You know, you know yeah, ain't nothing. Exactly. Be exactly. This is what the wicked say concerning the poor righteous man. You ain't got nothing. You ain't Kevin Hart. You ain't, you know, uh, a politician. This, that, and the other. Somebody that they, you ain't Steve Hart. You ain't none of these people that they gave you the green light. Everybody accept you. We the poor righteous man. We we the poor righteous man. Here it is.